The car was already smoking. I was pinned in, couldn't get out of the car. They used jaws of life to get me out. James Gresham can count more than nine lives. Yes, yes I do. Yes, I do. The Henrico man's life nearly came to an end last fall. One in my life I will never forget on September the 6th of last year. Along Darby Town Road, James's car was T-boned by another driver. On his cell phone, made a turn in front of me. And I seen another car, man, and the first thing I said was, oh, my God. We all ran out there, and when we saw it, they had a sheet cross it. And I thought my husband was gone. James's car was totaled, and so was his body. I know I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a reason. Months later, he has made a full recovery. But I do know one thing. I won't throw in the towel. If it's something else I got to go through, here I am. He was trying. He wasn't giving up. And I knew he had that drive not to give up. The father of two is familiar with surviving tall odds. She got my test and they came back. He said, yeah, colon counts. In 2005, it is what it was. James began a journey that seemingly never ends. They'll never get to the end of it until they get to the root of it. And they don't know where the root of it is. Cancer is moving from head to toe. My spleen, my pancreas, my diaphragm, part of my stomach, part of my rib, part of my colon. I was on life support. His eyelid, his neck, his thigh, his colon, his liver. Despite surgeries and setbacks, James remains resilient. 17, 17 I know, 17 different types of cancer in my life, 17. He relies on doctors, faith, and family like wife Charlene. Because when a loved one is going through, the whole entire family goes through. James considers himself a medical miracle. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm better than blessed. I am. Through the years of pain, Charlene never heard James ask, why me? Every day I see his strength come back. He is a man who is staring down his cancer diagnosis. I'm still here. With the grace of God, I'm still here. Never taking anything for granted. And I'm going to be here a long, long time. James Gresham, a patient, counting his blessings as he survives yet another day. I am not have no money, but the love that I have for people, and I know my family have for me, I'm a millionaire. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.